Hello and welcome, my name is Neil Lars. this is the second episode of our new season of Factorio. We are playing uh, Bob's Mod, no we are not playing Bob's Mod, that was just uh, an old habit. <laughs> That's interesting that I said that. Um, so what I will do though is, look, steel plates, I need five steel plates. So in order to get steel plates, I'm just going to ditch them in here. And also some coal. Right, so between sessions, I was looking at my options. One, two, three, four. And what I'm looking at, and I've also cleared a bit of path here, is that I'll be making my, uh, my bus here. It's probably gonna start from up here. And then my mats are coming in here. I'll give this a shot and, s and see how it goes. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It's a great way of thinking, isn't it? Two, three, four, five, six. So this looks about right. I also cleared the path here. And then my uh, they, my tool stop working. One more steel plate, and then we're good to go. Uh, where the hell did it get this one? Let's also put some more fuel in it. There we go. Let's get down here. It didn't do running on coal. Ah, they're stuck. That's a bit unfortunate. Here we go. Now I have my enough of these so I can get my it's iron sticks. Okay, I get actually two iron sticks for each one. Well, I'll just leave it be. And that's the reason why I want it. So I got steel processing. Now the next part is military. And I also have these as well. So with my new steel pickaxe, I can clear this forest a bit faster. I see I don't want to clear all of this out. But I do want to place just have to go away right so I can still place these over here because I, I'm, I'm still gonna need them and if I put this one here can we make it all the way across the yes we could brilliant Some power cables. Right, we've automated. We have now automated the production of coal. Excellent. Now there's a special way of doing this. I'm going to bring those through the middle. I'll just show what this looks like and then I'll explain the idea if someone doesn't haven't seen this before. And clearly I haven't because I I forgot how it's supposed to be. So basically the idea is that things will come on the outside and be placed uh, and be coming out from the middle oh that was actually quite fortunate I'm gonna remove it in a, in a bit 
Okay, that was fast. Um, now we get into all the trouble with the stuff that we can make. This is this is electronic circuits and iron. We'll get all those, and what we will get is two of these and one of those. Great. This goes here, that one goes there. So now it's time for all of this to come in. This one. I'm just going to bring it a bit up here. Oops. Good. So once we actually have the inserters. And the adequate amount of uh, power cords here. Just make some more power cords. Right. Wow, I didn't even have enough. I thought I did. need a lot of those clearly am I getting it now no let's start by plugging these in instead and they are now powered up brilliant and now I can also take this one out This one, oh, here, <laughs> and now the ob objective here should be quite obvious. Right, so that's uh, that's one thing taken care of, and it's just a matter of grabbing what we need. Optics, let's get electronics as well. Now I think that's also time. So I think that up here we'll be um, we'll need to get some coal flowing that direction quite fast or quite soon. So let's get a spitter. Maybe two more. So we're gonna get a spitter then here. Wow, that's really using them fast. Can't see a damn thing in here. stuck again that was all the coal we could make let's actually make one let's make all of them what I would like to do though is this one I would like to get maybe more focused So if we build four of these, I think that would make sense. These need to be put into here. I'm now again moving these. I basically want the handcrafting queue to be active at all times. We 
setting this off again. Um, this time I'll put them down here. Great. I did have two of those, right? This is actually a better way of doing it. There you go. Right. Right. And let's build some more of these, more of these, a few of those as well. I think there's a better way to do this. There we go. <clears throat> right, that's also, of course, uh, an objective here. I'm gonna take the last two. This one goes up here. Lock it. Lock this one. This here. Lock it. It's so not something I want. Should should here. Okay, so we have this one. I think that we would need some better science production soon. This is just making it slightly slightly better. And that definitely was more of these. Lock these in. Brilliant. So the next part we will be making is actually of course th this is to be expected and I'm not able to fill all of this up but there's an important aspect and that is you built for scale how many do we have these we, we do not have enough let's see can i build some more yeah let's just build a handful more this is going to take a bit of time before this one gets ready gets filled up because that's the uh, um, what is it it's it's the copper bar but that's not really a problem because as long as it's just like this then at least we know we have it ones this is at this point it's mainly about um, just oops I need more it's a ridiculous amount I need all right we'll do the other stuff first This one will be placed there. Okay. I 
think 50 should be enough. I'm not quite sure. Okay, that's this one. Wow, this is automation two is also pretty cheap. I thought actually automation two would be uh, a green science. And let's get uh, let's again get some more of those. actually have them consistent Means this one is not there well that's a mess there we go now this is completely ready all it needs is for copper to start flowing in when the copper starts flowing in it will start working I have four yeah, I think four should be enough. Let's get the copper. Might build a few more just for... Where the hell did the copper go? Here it is. First challenge is that we need to make some room. Second challenge is that they need the electricity down here. So once I have this automated, it's a matter of making uh, of making the bus come alive. And that's why I just need to keep building an obscene amount of uh, of what do they call belts? Yeah, belts. That's kind of a kind of an, an important word in the context of Factorio. So we're still doing quite quite well on this. It's very nice to get this steel so as early as possible because it's just so painful to remove the trees and that's basically half the game is removing trees. Until you get uh, grenades, maybe I should just get grenades pretty soon. Because that's definitely worth saving some time over. Spending coal and iron I believe to make grenades. It is strange how you make grenades out of coal and iron, but whatever. So, we will take these four. Here, here, and here. Not, not too far apart. I do not want to create more of these just now. I don't I really don't need it. Yeah, okay. Not the shortest path for sure. Next part is actually more of these. Okay. Need more iron because I need to build more of these. Need more belts. Always more belts. This is basically the essence of this game. Especially in this game because of there will be no robots. know this let's get closer I think it's this coal deposit probably looks like it's pretty big now it's down here all right so this is definitely south of the coal deposit One. 
of course I need to place it somewhere else. Questions? Why the hell is it not coming? Where are they? Yeah, that's exactly the issue. Okay. There we go. Now this one's working. Next one. Okay, it's not done yet. Oh, actually, I will be doing something here. No, it's still not getting all the way. Nice and slow. It's coming. Might be something here, but I don't know. Click to there's a long way here. I need some light. out of the way. Some of them are really strange why I can't. From here it's more a matter of going up, right? Because I just need to get up to the coal. This works. And we're just basically taking anything that is close by. So hopefully there will be just enough room for another another belt right there below it. Alright. Here, because if that's the case, then we have now also automated copper. That's pretty good, pretty damn good. And I'm gonna need a lot more of those. Go and this I will. Now the next one will be um, actually be getting this one over here, and I'm not going to make it as close to the other ones as possible because then there's no reason, no room for branching it out. Because I also think that is important. Yeah, let's get out of the way for this. For these, oh, I don't. Oh, I just lost all my trees. Damn, I'm stupid. Let's get some more of those. All right. Um, so this one is also heading that direction. I will install this one just as a special treat. here 
And I lost that one more. Did I get it? There you go. Beautiful network I have here. And what I'm seeing now is, let's put all of this in here. Right, so for the next episode, I will be also bringing this. And that means once I've brought this in, it's time to actually start establishing the bus. It's pretty easy at this point, but I'm going to take it on the top side. And I'm going to clear this up. Okay, so that was second episode, third episode. We'll get more of our infrastructure in place and we'll start building the bus. So thank you for joining and I hope to see you next time.